My self is 20 years, uh, I'm uh, working for Galileo, so that's uh, half of a career, you know. But basically, we was full 10 years here working around, and it became a kind of second home. You start the professional uh, relation, but after so many years, you right. kind of uh, make friends with each other. Especially at the beginning, the first one, uh, we had a lot of issues, but we could uh, manage it and we, we really could keep <clears throat> at the end of the schedule. We could be on time, even uh, if it was everything new for us. Something which is uh, which is great, which is big, and uh, it's nice, very nice. For me, the big lessons that it, at least I get for me is uh, really the achievement and what Europe can do if if we really spend effort all together in you know focusing towards the the, the goals and the objectives we have. So for me, this is the biggest lesson. has been, as I said, pretty, pretty intense. And despite coronavirus and so on, we managed to finish the activities because we have a really great team. You really want to be part of it, and then day by day you succeed and you make it. Yes. And really proud also. We should be all of us proud of this. The milestone we witnessed today is the end of the building of the first generation of the satellites. So the, the units of these satellites came from all over Europe. They went to Bremen where, where OHB integrated the yes. satellites. Then they were tested here to see that they, we test them to an uh, environment that's a little bit more harsh than what we will see in orbit. And then after this test, the milestone we saw today is that the testing is completed. The satellites go to OHB to go into storage and then um, waiting to be launched in order to complete the constellation and replenish the constellation. And then the next step will be the second generation of the Galileo system, which is already in its preparation stages. Thank you.